but with our interstate flow. Look at in the background. As we indicated earlier, we didn't tell you not to go, but we said if you can delay for a couple of hours your evacuation plans, the interstate may open up and you would not be stuck in that gridlock where we had the one driver tell us that it took him six hours to go nine miles. So again tonight, we are still urging everyone to heed the evacuation notice as we always have. We indicated no use to get stuck in the gridlock because you weren't going anywhere anyway. Here are the graphics. And tonight, the latest coordinates as of 7 o'clock at 24.7 north, 87.0 west, winds of 140. The movement is picked up a smidge going north, northwest at 10. And I just checked with the uh, aircraft. This pressure is up just a little bit. It's up to about 29.45 or, or 27, rather, 0.45. So that's encouraging that this is not getting any stronger. Now, the old track from the National Hurricane Center still will continue this northwestward overnight. Here's the key time frame on Wednesday, this 1 p.m. It's got to start to make the shift sometime during the day tomorrow. Because if it doesn't, and we continue on into tomorrow night and Thursday, if it doesn't make the shift, it's going to keep coming right up the gut, right up the mouth of the river. And this is one of our worst case scenarios because it piles all the water into Lake Pontchartrain. We would have serious problems. However, I always present the Hurricane Center's official forecast guidance, which carries it all the way over almost east of the Alabama uh, Mississippi line there. You see very close to downtown Mobile. Boy, they'd get hammered right over Dolphin Island. This would not be a good track for this part of the Gulf Coast. But notice the cone of uncertainty. Still, all of the Mississippi Gulf Coast could get in the eye wall, especially if my thinking is this curvature is a little too premature and it holds off on making that curve until a little farther west. You see, if it did that, lower Plaquemines would get in the eye wall. The Mississippi Gulf Coast would get in the eye wall. Not Louisiana itself, aside from lower Plaquemines and very, uh, the marsh areas of St. Bernard, we would still have a good blow here, but nothing like they're going to get from the eye wall eastward. And I don't want to, I just want to keep stressing that to you. Now, this is the kind of timetable. We get into the hurricane, well, that went by a little quickly, folks, but the idea, and we'll have this on again and coming up at 10 o'clock, but the uh, band of the heaviest winds won't get to us until after the noon hour tomorrow. So we still have an opportunity tomorrow morning, those of you who want to leave, can still leave. Warnings up from Grand Isle over to Apalachicola, and uh, that's a pretty safe bet that they'll stay up until this thing gets a lot closer and they can narrow down or pinpoint where exactly that's going to be. Now we do have uh, a couple of satellite loops here to show you, and you watch this one. What do you see? Do you see the same thing I do? No curve yet, and it's still headed right towards us. Shows no signs of turning yet. It's about the 25 and uh, oh i don't know 87 or so we don't want it to get near 90 that's for sure we got to have it start turning here before it gets to 88 Oof. 88 is about right at the mouth of the river there so that's going to be the key a little tighter view will show you that this thing has uh, redeveloped the classic eye wall and it is still a powerful category four storm look at that eye that eye is uh, i mean it just stares out at you and i hope it does scare you because this is going to be quite a storm for somebody. The key is, will it veer east of the mouth of the river? Now, tonight at 9 o'clock, when I come back, we're going to show you a new computer model that is hinting that, yes, it's going to stay to our east. A new computer model that was accurate in predicting Hurricane Charlie's turn away from Tampa Bay before the Hurricane Center did. Not going to say this is the right model, not going to say it's going to be accurate, but we'll have some new information for you that's coming up tonight on Fox 8 at 9. I invite you to join us then. This hurricane update has been sponsored by LAS Hurricane Shutters. Stay tuned for more information from Fox 8 News, your weather.